What's up guys, my name is Tech Number here for Troubleshoot and in today's video I'm going to be covering a very common issue now that there's a new CSGO patch out there regarding the VAC or anti-cheat system. What exactly is the issue? Well, opening up Steam, then starting up Counter-Strike Global Offensive, you'll see this loading screen, and then you'll get dropped into the main menu where you have this error over here. Basically, the game will no longer allow you to join competitive matches because some of your game files have been detected to have no signatures or invalid signatures, you will not be allowed to join VAC secure servers. What exactly is this issue? Well, before you go ahead and uninstall and reinstall your game completely, there's a couple of things that we can try. First of all, close out of the game, then locate Counter-Strike Global Offensive in Steam. Right-click, Properties, Local Files, Browse Local Files. Then you'll see this window over here pop up. Simply locate csgo.exe, right-click on it, Properties, and we'll have this window. Head across to the Compatibility tab and simply make sure that Run This Program as Administrator is unchecked as such. I'll hit OK, head back into Steam and launch up the game once again. This time launching up the game, we see the same loading screen. And then we're dropped onto the main menu with absolutely nothing wrong with our game. We can go ahead and search for official competitive matches if we so wish. But say that for some reason you need to run Counter-Strike Global Offensive as admin for it to work on your PC or give you good FPS, etc. How exactly do you do that? Well, simply make sure that Steam is running as admin and then your game can successfully run as admin as well. Note that if you're having issues, Steam running as admin or not as admin may be playing a factor. How exactly do we check that? Well, hit Control shift escape to bring up Task Manager. Head across to the Details tab and simply make sure that you have this elevated column over here. You can right click on the very top, select columns, and then simply scroll down until you see elevated, make sure it's checked. Then we can go ahead and sort by elevated, yes or no, and we'll simply locate steam.exe. As you can see, elevated, no, meaning that Steam isn't running in admin mode. If it's like this and your game starts up with that compatibility flag as admin, then you may be having issues. But I'll simply close out of Steam, locate Steam's icon, right click, more, run as admin. This time you can see Steam.exe, elevated, yes, so we're running it in admin mode. If we go ahead and start up Counter Strike, you'll see that when it pops up on this list, it'll be running as admin. Of course, if you have that compatibility option set as run as administrator, as long as Steam is also running as admin, your game shouldn't have any issues. I'll load into the main menu just now. And there we have it. We should see an error, but there is nothing. Our game is working perfectly as normal in administrator mode. Now that we've gone through that, that is probably the likely cause of your issues if your Steam and CS are running at different admin levels. So either run both Steam and CS as admin or run neither of them as admin. If you're using something like my Steam account switcher, simply head into the settings and check what the setting is at the very top, run Steam as admin. If this is checked, make sure your game is running as admin. Otherwise, if it's unchecked, make sure it's not running as admin. So with all of that aside, if you're still having issues, then I'd highly recommend locating CS, right click properties, local files, and then verifying the integrity of game files. This will run through all of your files, find if something differs from these servers, and then we'll download and replace it. Assuming you're still having issues after this, a complete game install may be your last option, but hopefully you won't have to get there. Of course, this tutorial may or may not be the answer for you. If you find a different method other than reinstalling the game entirely, please do let it be known in the comments down below so that other people can go ahead and check there first before they resort to reinstalling their game entirely. Anyways, that's about it for this video. Thank you all for watching. My name's been Technobo here for Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.